I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So we just got the um, the artifact, the Black Star, which is a corrupted form, or corrupted form of actually the proper form of the Daedric uh, artifact, Azura Star, and it is pretty handy. And that uh, from now on, when we uh, when we kill human type enemies, if we catch Soul Trap on them first, then um, then we'll capture their soul as a grand soul. Now it can only hold one soul at a time, Unless but it doesn't disappear uh, once you use it. So now we're going to do a side quest. This is possibly a side quest that that you guys will want to do um, differently. But I am making the choice that I'm making for uh, for the sake of philosophical comfort. So you might remember I killed Grelod the Kind, who was a kind of abusive um, mother to uh, adopted kids. Still very much alive. That's more than can be half of Skyrim. Oh, but don't misunderstand. But there is a slight. Hmm. You see that little error. Grelod the Kind. A kill you must repay. Well, now, if you turn around, you'll notice my guest. You see. And so I'm, I've been kidnapped by the, uh... So this is the Assassin's Guild. And I was kidnapped by them to, uh, to take out uh, one of these three as a test to see if I'm cold-hearted enough to actually join their guild. And so let's talk to the three of them. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. What? Oh God, I, I don't want to die. Please, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a soldier. I killed people. When I was ordered to, maybe there was some times. Sometimes I got carried away. But war is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that, could they? Okay, so that guy is a soldier, and he apparently did some questionable things as a soldier. Excuse me, what kind of question is that? I'm kneeling here with my hands bowed. What do you think, genius? And this is somebody who isn't going to tell me who she is. Hold on right now. Come now. Whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk. Hmm? Me? <laughs> Are you see it? So this is a Khajiit who seems to be... If one of my enemies would not pay to who seems to be collecting enemies. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates with I'll cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win win. Okay. So we have a choice between three these three uh, who we want to kill. And I'm just going to check up on my skills tree on Conjuration and see if my bound weapons are improved yet. Yes, they are. So they actually, they're a lot more powerful than they used to be. And let's see, in our left hand we have Soul Trap. In our right hand we have uh, Bound Sword. Let's summon the sword. And we definitely do want to get a uh, soul from this. But I'm going to possibly surprise you. This is the leader of the uh, Can you out of the Guild of Assassins, and I am going to actually uh, kill her.
because I am not that much of a fan of the Guild of Assassins. Although it is a rather fun quest line. So if you, uh, if you want to uh, join it just for fun and can stomach what you have to do. Please release me. Cut my bonds. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never speak of this to anyone. I promise. You cut these bonds. Well, it's about damn time. Capturing a woman from Come now, home. Come now, my friend. Haven't you played like this game animal. long enough? Ridiculous. Untie me, and we can all go our separate ways. Ah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? You are, or what's Let's going the two of us just but forget you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Okay, so that's it. But yes, by doing this, I have given up on uh, the chance to uh, join the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood. But I'm okay with that. And I can collect some Death Bell. And looks like Jazargo apparently followed me, but stayed discreetly outside because the door was locked. Which is fine by me. And we'll pick up some more Death Bell. Always be enterprising with scooping up stuff or doing little side things to help you with your quests, and you won't need to put in a lot of specific effort for them, unless you screw them up somehow. So this is an abandoned shack, which is out in the middle of nowhere, all the way up by Solitude. But it looks like to a little bit of the west of here, we were tasked with investigating the Galdur legend. I don't know what that is, but because it's nearby, we might as well take care of it. After we grab a little bit more death bell. So, well, except I'm going the wrong way. It is west of here, not east of here. Come on, let me up. Let's just double check. Yeah, west. West and a little bit south. This is probably the boat that they took me or that they used to take me and all the rest uh, over here. Now up above us we can see um, Solitude. And yes, it really is built on top of a gigantic mountain. And it looks like there is somebody up ahead. A Bothia cultist. So yeah, you will be, you will notice that a lot of the time I'm going to try to be, uh, try to use bound weapons rather than the weapons that I'm carrying. I want to improve my conjuration skill up, up to the point where I can summon Grimoire Lords, which were the guys who were protecting, um, protecting that, uh, that person in the soul gem. They are really useful, particularly in late game, uh, because there are circumstances where you just are going to find yourselves overwhelmed if you rush in alone or even with a good companion. And the ability to summon one of those guys, or if you can manage to get Conjuration to level 100 and take the right perk, summon two of those guys, that's just incredibly useful. So it looks like I've gone a little bit too far west and I want to be aiming south now. Yeah, I kind of missed the mark here, but here I am. And whatever I need to do for this quest is right beneath me. Uh, let's see. Good. Oh, another uh, death bell. And here's an entrance, but the qu there's a quest marker over here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, more death bell. Oh, there's a book here. I don't see anyone else out here. So I don't know if I actually have to go into this place or not. Learn the truth from... Uh, 
and this is very good for death bell because now I'm done. And uh, any further death bell I get, I can actually use for my own alchemy projects rather than uh, rather than giving to. Oh. But does the game actually want me to go in? Yes, it does. It wants me to go in now. Well, that's fine. That's what I thought I was going to be doing in the first place. So. There is a death bell for me. And a soul gem. Oh, so there are plenty of of these types of traps that aren't really traps in the game. Traps where all they do is make a little bit of noise when you step through them. They're still pretty dangerous at times because they will alert every enemy nearby that you're there. Now there's a trap. I don't see exactly what it's going to do, but I do see those holes in the floor. So there's a good chance that it either sends arrows out or spikes out. Looks like it was spikes. So yeah, and here's an adventurer that was not careful enough. And I'm actually getting kind of low on weight capacity, so I'm going to have to be uh, pretty selective with what I pick up. More adventurers. So apparently whatever's going on in here, it is the sort of thing that has inspired many adventurers to try and check it out. Need an ivory claw to do whatever needs to be done there. Well, I don't think I have an ivory claw. Hopefully that's not too much of a barrier. And here are turny things. Whoa. Well, I don't see where the enemy is, but we'll let, uh, let that guy take care of it. So, we have a snake thing here. Oh. Okay, bird, snake, and dolphin, or no, snake, bird, snake, dolphin. Let's try turning uh, this one to a snake, oh that one is already at a snake, and then bird here, oh bird is already there. Oh, it's actually already set the way that uh, that I would normally think to try. So whatever is supposed to happen... Well... Oh, actually, since this is open, maybe that was meant to be the thing to... Uh, just to open the door here, and that's why this door is open. So I'm going to jump over that. So yeah, in, in the game with summons, you can only have one summon at a time. So anytime you, uh, you summon a new critter, your old summon disappears. Which is kind of handy at times if you ever need to get rid of an old summon on an emergency basis. There is a perk that you can take later that will let any ethereal weapons you have So we'll let him take care of those guys, or at least distract them for a little bit, while we snipe from the side. Yeah, so you can see it really is nice to be able to summon friends. Just as it's nice to, uh, oh, here's a skill book of some kind that improves my one-handed one -handed skill, which is always welcome, because I think with, with every point of one-handed, you probably do a, a tiny amount more damage, and that effect eventually will add up. You also notice this red oily stuff on the floor. So if I were to cast a flame spell, this stuff would catch on fire and cook anything that's standing in it. 
Unfortunately, sometimes your foes are aware of that, and they'll do it to you. So just be careful with it. Like, this is what I could do. I don't see where Jisargo is right now, but I will show you what it uh, what it looks like. You drop that, and the flame spreads all the way around there. Oh, did Jis Jisargo got stuck outside somehow? Well, let's see if I can safely jump this. Well, not quite safely. Okay, I'll pull this, and now Jisargo can come through. So, yeah. I'll switch back to Candlelight and my summoning spell. Yeah, the summons only last so long, and... Okay, so there's nothing that interesting back here. And I might be otherwise inclined to pick some of this stuff up, but I don't want to uh, exceed my weight limit. Now, there are some traps where these logs that are holding up the ceiling will drop onto you. Or traps where the door will just swing out. The floor will just swing out like that. Out of that. Sometimes those will drop, drop you into spikes of doom. Sometimes they'll just be inconvenient. But you want to be uh, kind of kind of careful. Whenever you see those, know that that might happen. So this is a Draugr with some goodies. More Draugrs. There is a quest arrow right nearby. And there's the claw. And here's his note. Here are his notes, and the game is asking me to read his notes. So let's take a quick look. His journal. Okay, so this is about... So we're going to pick up his nasty corpse and... Drop it over there. We'll activate the keyhole. But he did die, so we're going to step back just in case something nasty happens. Oh, no. Nothing particularly nasty, but there are some enemies over there, so we, we will let them... Uh, we'll let them... Let them go have some fun. But by the time I am ready to fight, the Frost Atronach is mostly taking care of it, and Jizargo is going to wrap up the rest. It is kind of cool seeing how the physics engine in the game lets people, or lets animal, lets your foes be propped up in goofy ways. It's, it's also nice with Draugr's often you can see what, uh... Oh, I don't didn't see what happened there. And that looks like there's a trap that I can undo, hopefully. Yes. And I don't really want that armor. It's just too heavy and its efficiency is poor. There's nothing here. Okay, that is what got Jisargo a moment ago. So... Oh, no, wait, this is actually not the kind that comes to life. And that is not the kind that comes to life, I don't think. Oh, I am wrong. That is the kind that comes to life. And apparently a Draugr came from I didn't... Oops, I accidentally hit Jizargo, I think. Sorry about that, dude. And here are a bunch of levers.
Okay, that's not any good. Ah, there we go. There might be some logic to that, but I pretty much just try and not turn them the same way twice and hope that it eventually works out uh, the right way. Oh. Well, there is a trap that comes just short of being useful to me in being able to kill that dragger for me. But a well-placed arrow will take care of it. And that looks definitely like the kind of dragger that comes to life. But it is the kind of coming to life in this case where it just moves around for a second as my arrow kills it. So apparently there's a, uh, there's a great backstory for these guys. These guys were buried with... Um, they were buried with dragon priests. And the dragon priests are doing... Uh, uh, let's see... Um, bow and left hand, frost atronach and right hand. You can make them? I can make them too. There we go. And there's a honed uh, weapon. Uh, honed versions of these are slightly uh, slightly stronger than non-honed. Greater Soul Gem. Always happy to see those. Although the Grands are, of course, the mo most fun. Okay. So the combination is snake, then snake, dolphin, and uh, bird. So yeah, this this is a fun little thing. You you get the uh, combination over here, and then you go over there and set uh, and enter the combination on this side. So snake. Dolphin. Whoop, wait, no, that was right. Bird. And now we head back over here, and if we pull this thing, then it opens what, uh, it opens the trap door, and we can drop down here, and this is just a faster way to descend than actually running around, uh, So the dragger were meant to serve the dragon priests, uh, and they they were just uh, human human servants buried with them, and they naturally died. But uh, but the uh, they come back every so often to uh, or, uh, they keep the temples clean, and every evening they uh, while they're uh, while they're cleaning the area right around the Dragon Priest, the Dragon Priest gives them a little bit more life to keep them barely alive, or at least to keep them mobile. Um, and uh, functional undead. And it's all written about in one of the books. So this game actually has lots of books. And they're generally... Uh, 
They're all these. They're all part of this fantastic backstory uh, for the world of Tamriel. I do feel kind of bad, uh, almost, for this Draugr, uh, for these Draugr, because they have apparently been serving these Dragon pe Priests for practically forever. They pop out of their graves to, uh, to take care of an intruder, and I uh, cut them up before they even get a chance to move. Of course, they are trying to cut me up, so can't feel too sorry for them. But yeah, the, uh, the world has lots and lots of, uh, of books, and if you like you can read them, all of them. I mean, they're they're generally paragraph length, but still uh, have to give them an A for effort. So, was it the Ivory Claw? I think it was the Ivory Claw that we got. Bird, bird, dragon. So, we'll match that up with this. That should do it. Gotta back off just in case I got it wrong. And uh, okay, let's summon Frost Atronach uh, over there just to. There's nothing, no threats immediately visible, but I like to be, uh, like to be safe. Since I've already died several times in here, and every time I do, it's a little bit more embarrassing than normal. Plus, for some reason I'm dying more often than I normally do while doing this playthrough. It might just be that I, uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative with time. Okay, so... Okay, all these things are coming back to life. So we definitely want to uh, do what we can to give them distractions. It looks like they are pretty distracted over there. And they're not doing a great job at being able to kill him. Oh, interesting. Uh, killing him apparently killed all the rest. Oh, I know what this is. So... I have this uh, this quest because I picked up um, an amulet in an earlier dungeon that is part of a, uh, I think, three or four or five part amulet. And if you can get all, uh, all the parts of it together, then it's a little bit more useful, but it's not amazing. So it's not a quest that I normally uh, think is worth doing. At least not for its own sake, but... But I hear up ahead a word wall, and those are usually worth getting. And, uh, let's see. I'm not sure where Jazargo went. Hope he didn't die or, or something. This is leaving me a little bit... Yeah, I'm overburdened right now. I'm going to need to drop some stuff. Kind of cool hearing the chanting while I figure out what I uh, can't afford to carry with me.
Orcish battle axe uh, is tempting to get rid of. It's still worth a lot, but it's not worth as much as its uh, is as its uh, weight. So it's one of those things where you'll really only pick up if you think you might use it or have your follower use it. That's a kind of useful uh, uh, shout to know. If you use it, uh, then it will freeze your enemies in a chunk of ice for a little bit, which is kind of nice. And I'm seriously hoping that Jazargo is going to just be with me as I step through the door. Yes. Good. Haha, -ha, that's what it's like to pop out of uh, a coffin like these guys do. Okay, so the exit is probably somewhere back here. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to use a spell that you have not yet seen me use. And it is clairvoyance. And it shows me the path to where I to where I'm trying to go. Well it should. It's not really working. Huh. That's strange. Uh, but I think, actually, I do want to be down here. I came from down here, I think. Huh. The spell is not working right for some reason. Well, I believe this is the way out. Does this open that thing over there? No. Maybe it opens this over here. I've been through this dungeon a number of times before and I've never seen behind this wall. So, oh, it looks like it's a chest. Well, it's good to finally know. I do wish Jisargo were doing a better job at keeping up with me, but is this really... So there is a perk that you can get later on that causes traps not to trigger when you step on them. There you go. The old Nord sure did love their stonework. <laughs> Let's just see... Huh, I hope that clairvoyance isn't just uh, bugged for the whole game for me. So, we are pretty heavily burdened at this point, so it would make sense to go and uh, sell some of uh, the stuff that we have. So, we're going to pop back up into solitude. And it is about 4 a.m. Don't suppose you didn't shot my sword. That old blade can barely cut butter. So we're going to wait until daytime, and then we're going to talk to the people in radiant, uh, radiant raiment who sell fancy clothes and robes and uh, other stuff, not really armor per se because they have a really, really easy quest to assign. Why not? We provide clothing for all of us. Nothing at all. It's very... You're really going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. So that is probably the easiest quest in any video game ever. So she gives you a free outfit, you wear it, you talk to the Earl, 
you come back, you get a reward. So we might as well sell that and this. And uh Oh, probably should have been wearing that. Oh well. Finally. Yeah, so these guys are kinda douches. It's surprising that they can um that they get any business. If you're heading to the blue palace, you might want to Yes, 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 yes. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find. I bet that my sister DJ and I are tre- I- With the- We have an intro. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But so this is another, uh, goofy side quest that you can do. And in real life, it's, of course, highly immoral. But this is one of those that, uh, in a video game, I'm, uh, I'm willing to do. I still haven't figured this out. There, there are some... There are times when I'm comfortable and times when I'm not doing... Uh, uh, times when I'm not comfortable doing a video game task. I guess property crimes I don't really mind uh, doing in the game too much, which is why I generally join the Thieves Guild in each uh, game. But actually, the visceral act of, of killing... Uh, uh, that's something that I'm generally not comfortable with. I'm you. So, late of woe. And that is good. So, we'll enchant up some of these, uh, some of these items that we, uh, that we're gonna be getting rid of. And we're overhearing a conversation between the leaders of the uh, Empire here. Let's see, 171, is that the best that we can do? Seems uh, so for, uh, for the studded armor. Fortify destruction. So we don't have a lot of options for boots yet. We really Sir. do want to open up those options when we get the chance. So we're pretty eager to find. Uh, some boots with new enchantments. Uh, let's see, what do we have left to take care of? So we could get rid of our, our bows. I'm not quite ready to do that yet. And I'm tempted to get rid of the uh, the blade sword, but it's a little bit uh, faster to draw a sword than it is to summon one. So, not yet. Archery. And uh, Jazargo is doing his little grunty, singy thing. It's pretty hilarious. And a helmet. And more armor. And I think that's pretty much all we're going to do right now with uh, enchanting gear. And while we're, we're here, I'm going to uh, say hi to these guys. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen, one of the prisoners. If I, I love his voice actor. Hadbar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you... I suspect we might have used... 
Besides, I'm sure your being in prison was all a terrible misunderstanding. So let's you talk to Legate uh, Rika. General Tully has told me what happened. Wow. Not he is a fast and sneaky talker if you manage that. And I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. The kind that about I'm sending you to. If you die, the ancients built. Sadly, Fort Hurrah. We're going to install a garrison there. But first, you're going to clean out the bandits. That good. That's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. So as I mentioned, my sympathies in the war uh, side with the Empire. Yes, and so I just joined up with them. I will uh, eventually be advancing these quests, uh, or uh, this quest line, but I'm not going to be doing it very aggressively. Since there's a whole lot of, uh, there are a whole lot of other things to uh, to do. But yes, I, I the empire here seems to uh, seems to be in uh, a cousin to the Roman Empire, uh, and it represents a type of civilization and fairness to. Uh, uh, fairness to all the races in in this land, and so I just I find it much easier to stomach that side than I do Ulfric's uh, side. Let's see, can't quite take Arcane Blacksmith yet, which is a pity, and I can't quite do Enchanting yet, which is even more of a pity, or I can't take Enchanter yet. So I could take that other one right up above. Instead, let's see. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, now I can finally take this perk that causes bound weapons to cast soul trap on my fo uh, on my foes, which is really useful. And other perks that I'm really looking forward to uh, are quiet casting, which causes all your uh, your spells to be completely quiet. And there are some block spells, and certainly I want to level up alchemy and uh, speech further. Um, merchant is nice, but I don't have the uh, the level yet to do that. And sneak has a number of really useful uh, spells, particularly deadly aim uh, but deadly aim it isn't that big of a boost but it's it's a pretty useful boost there's also a uh, light foot which causes you not to trigger traps but yeah I need a lot more uh, need to level a lot more in order to get all of those seems there's no end to the need looking to protect yourself or deal so with that. let us uh, sell some of the stuff we have that we no longer need And we're going to see the um, see the rates at which we can sell stuff steadily climb up as we uh, as our talk spell uh, improves, or uh, our talk skill improves. Now the shrouded stuff uh, I got by killing um, killing what's her name from the Assassin's Guild. And I generally just tend to keep that because you don't get uh, the chance to get that stuff um, again. So the next time I swing by my house, I'm going to uh, drop it off there. Return you need arms. And uh, I don't yet have the perk that lets me improve uh, improve armor that's already been enchanted. Unfortunately, it's a rather nice perk. Oh, what gloves have I been wearing? I might have been wearing... Hmm, maybe I wasn't wearing gloves. Armor. 
Did I not? I guess he might have run out of uh, gold to. Uh... Yeah, he probably ran out of gold to buy stuff. So, was there anything more up here that we need to do? I don't see it. Let's uh, activate some of the rest of these quests. Oh yeah, we'll report Astrid's death to a, a guard, and we need to deliver cogs to Arneal. And we're running low on time. You did what? By the gods, you serious? You better report this to Commander Mero right away. He's at the Penitus Oculatus outpost, up in Dragon Bridge. Cool. So, we will go report to Commander Morrow. Where is Dragon Bridge? So all the really little quests. Oh, actually, probably should uh, go talk to uh, the Jarl um, over here wearing, uh, while wearing that outfit. Since that's a nice, easy quest to take care of while we're here. It certainly makes uh, the game a lot more tidy when you can uh, clear more quests out of your active register. So, we will take care of this. Oh, where'd the Euro go? Uh, Euro go. That isn't. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Okay, she apparently had stepped out. So, let's put on the fine clothes. Be quick. I have little patience for If you have business, please. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsman. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request. I have so. So, I do feel a little bit dirty for doing uh, something like that since it's uh, essentially doing advertising. But. It is a game. So we're going to head back to Radiant Rainment, which is back over here, and uh, let somebody in the store know that I did their advertising for them. And I think they will probably give us a little bit of gold, and they let us keep the outfit. Uh, where was it? It was over here. We provide clothing for all of. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours, and here's something for your trouble. Cool. Thank you so. for your patronage. We got a little bit of gold. And... And we have a lot of quests over here. So, we will take care of the little ones. Yeah, so Dragonbone weapons are really pretty nice, but you do have to have the smithing skill at 100 to uh, to make them. So the Kashi who lost their, uh, his or her amulet is down here. I guess it's... Uh, there it is. Ah, oh. If you ever need the skill... Until then, here. This is for you. In fact. I hope that you will come to do this with us again. Cool. Well, always happy to help my fellow Khajiit. Okay, let's step inside. So we have more stuff to sell, and then we're going to be grabbing cogs and delivering them to Arneal... Uh, what's his name? I don't 
quite remember what his what quest is in there. What do you need, my friend? You've been a good friend to me. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Did we already sell? No, we didn't sell quite everything that we want to sell. This and this and this and this. Okay, so he has a lot of stuff for uh, for sale. But uh, did we? No. Okay, we're done with leveling up. And so now we're just going to drop off the shrouded stuff in our house. And I believe we'll be, uh, that'll bring us to the end of, uh, of this uh, Let's Play. Honor to see you again. And we'll save a copy of this. We're actually going to put on this necklace to improve our bowing. Um, ten Dwemer cogs, and we'll drop off. Okay, so that's all that we'll be uh, dropping off here. And that's the end of this Let's Play. See you in the next.